Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. Uh, we are here to do the rest of April reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is your reading. If you have Pisces in your sun, moon, or rising sign, or Venus sign, this reading may resonate. If it does not, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements, okay? So this is for Pisces for the rest of April. For Pisces for the rest of April 2021. Got full moon coming up. 26, 27. See what's coming in for you the rest of this month. For Pisces. Okay. Pisces, your overall energy for the rest of the month. Ace of Swords. Okay. Clarity. Ooh. Tower. Ace of Swords after a tower. Okay. Clarity after a tower. Yeah. Hmm. So it looks like maybe you ended a cycle that needed to be ended. Like maybe someone left you out in the cold, made you feel some type of way. And there was a tower. So with this Ace of Swords, you have clarity on something. Maybe even a victory. Let's see what's going on. Your energy, Five of Cups. Okay. Regrets. It could be your energy or someone else. You apply how it fits. What's the challenge? Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. To recover from that. Even, maybe even to forgive someone for the Ten of Swords. Okay. What are you thinking about, Pisces? Hierophant. Okay. It could be spiritual growth. You may be seeking spiritual advisement, but this is also commitment. Okay. What's the root of it? Mm, three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Collaboration, working with someone, teamwork, building together. What happened in the recent past? Queen of Swords. Could have been dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Seems like you had to make some quick decisions, some sharp decisions, and had to be maybe assertive, especially with your energy being the Five of Cups. What's happening in the immediate future? Knight of Swords. Okay. Say so decisive action, quick action. Okay. Maybe even a conversation. If you hear children, my child is home. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the advice from Spirit, King of Swords. Okay. Think logically. Make your decisions from a grounded space, okay, place. With clarity, okay? We do have a pair here, though. King and Queen of Swords. Just saying. Okay? So, let's clarify this for you, Pisces, for the rest of the month. For Pisces, for the rest of April. Clarifying this fresh for Pisces. For Pisces here for the rest of April. For Pisces. First reading of the day, so I'll make sure it's good. Sure. For Pisces, already saged and meditated. Ace of Swords, overall energy, right? Clarity. It says breakthrough and awareness written on a card. Okay, let's see why is this here. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Pisces for the rest of April, Spirit? You see how this is like a chunk, a chunk of cards is just like together. I feel like these cards like mean something to you, okay? Like they just won't separate, right? Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. And a Two of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Six of Pentacles. Okay. And a Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Seems like um, maybe someone got clarity about you. Yeah. After the tower. After the tower here. Okay. With the hangman, all right? Someone is seeing things from a new perspective, all right? Definitely a breakthrough, okay? With the two of wands, okay? On the bottom of the deck, this is someone... Look. 
with the two of wands on the bottom of the deck, all right? This is someone that has cho that is choosing a path, okay? They now know exactly where they want to go, okay? They can plan and prepare now, okay? With the six of cups, is someone wanting a reconciliation, wanting to work on a, a connection maybe with a soulmate, okay? With the eight of pentacles. But with the nine of swords behind the eight of pentacles, this person is worried, okay? Because now they're seeing who you are after a tower, okay? So... Let's see why this Five of Cups is here. Five of Cups. Okay. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces for the rest of April? Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces as their current energy? Okay, yep. That Ten of Swords came out, okay? Yep. And the Three of Cups, okay? Could have been a third party, right? It seems like someone regrets um, hurting you or betraying you in some way. With the Three of Cups being there, And the Seven of Cups on the bottom. It seemed like someone didn't recognize your work, like they had options and they were like playing the field maybe. Maybe you found out about it. Five of Cups, I mean five, yeah, Five of Cups. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, all right. The Eight of Cups, all right. Yeah. Okay, so someone is gonna someone wants to talk to you. Okay, and that's what this King of Swords is down here for. Okay, this person wants to talk. Could be an air sign, but it can be anyone. All right, because they do not want to let go. Okay, they want to stay connected to you. The Eight of Cups. Um, this is them holding on to the connection with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to the connection. They're gonna communicate to you with the Page of Wands their decision. Okay, they could have left the third party. But that four of pentacles, they don't they do not want to let go. Okay, this is them definitely holding on tight. Right? They are also betrayed or feeling betrayed, or maybe are sad because they betrayed you. Why is the ten of swords here? It says painful ending. The challenge is the painful ending. Because of the tower. Why is the challenge the painful ending? For Pisces. Pisces, rest of April spirit. For Pisces, for the rest of April spirit. Sorry, I didn't like that came out. Okay. Okay. Right. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces for the rest of April spirit? And that's all that Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Could be done from Earth sign. Or this person just sees you as um, like nurturing, abundant, like a mother figure, okay? Okay. Yeah. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups, this person wants to like move past this. They want to change where you guys currently are. They want change and they want to apologize, all right? But it almost seems like they're waiting for the right time. Ten of Swords for Pisces. Ten of Swords. King of Wands. Okay. The King of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. This person is single. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. They're making a decision to be single. They could have been tied to something. Right? Maybe you found out about it. Okay, because there was definitely a tower. And with the judgment energy and the nine of pentacles, this person in hermit back there, yeah. This person has thought a lot about the connection they had with you. All right, and they are making a decision to be single. Okay, ten of swords. And that's probably why they want to come and talk to you and talk to you about their decision. 
Yep. That page of cups came out. Okay. This person definitely wants to apologize for all of the like maybe dishonesty. All right. Six of Pentacles and a Page of Pentacles. They're gonna try to bring you something, okay? Um, to bring things back into balance, to show you that they are equally invested. Okay, that you're not in here by yourself because we saw the five of pentacles um, in a deck. All right, they're gathering their strength to do it because they don't want you to reject them. Okay, we saw the four of cups. Okay, let's look at this um, queen of swords in the recent past. Why is the queen of swords here in the recent past for Pisces, rest of April? Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, okay. Juggling, too many, um, trying to hold up too many things, trying to do too much. It's like this person was trying to play two roles, maybe, with the King of Cups, all right. Maybe being a little cold and rigid, not expressing emotions, not staying balanced with the Two of Pentacles, okay. And the Empress, okay. Um, maybe even seeing you as an Empress, okay. Going back and forth with maybe even like who to choose. They could have been dealing with an air sign and a Taurus or a Taurus. Okay. Tempers on the bottom. The five cups and the devil. It's like this person was going back and forth with their decision making. Like they couldn't figure out which way to go like who to deal with for you know who to give their love to like almost trying to um figure out like which one would be i'm not gonna say most prosperous but like has the most potential <laughs> that's kind of, that's what it's looking like it's like they wearing up their options Okay. Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here in the, in the foundation? Okay, it's so the Three of Pentacles here. Okay, building collaboration. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Pisces? Three of Pentacles here for Pisces. Okay, King of Swords again. All right. Making clear decisions about what's balanced, equal give and take, like being equally invested. Um, someone that can meet them halfway. I definitely feel like, um, because with this card being the Three of Pentacles building, right? This person was definitely over here kind of trying to decide. It could have been you, okay? Trying to decide, Pisces, with the King of Cups, like which route to go, which way is going to, which option is going to like create abundance, all right? Yeah, but Justice on the bottom and the Knight of Wands. This person has made a decision. Okay, and they want to build with you. They want to invest equally with you and they feel like this decision is just and they're coming here to take action. Okay, yeah, three of Pentacles. One more for the three of Pentacles for Pisces. Okay, King of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. That's about long-term investment. Okay? This person doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Okay? Definitely thinking about long-term. Thinking about stability. Thinking about, like, merge. Okay? We do have the Hierophant on the brain. <laughs> I should have clarified that first, but we do have the Hierophant on the brain. Okay? Why is the Hierophant here? As what Pisces or Pisces person, whoever this is, is thinking about. Why is the Hierophant here? As what Pisces is thinking about. Yep. Ace of Pentacles. All right. With the Six of Cups. This person wants a reconciliation. Okay. Three of Pentacles. They're ready to build with you. You can't You can't make it no clear. Okay. Hierophant. Yep. Seven of Swords. All right. Now, the Seven of Swords is lying still in cheating, but it's also creating a strategic plan. They are trying to think of a way to come towards you with the Strength Energy. Um, they already know that they hurt you, okay? The tower already happened, okay? The challenge is a ten of swords, is to get past that. It's to apologize to you and for you to accept them, okay? And so they're trying to build their strength, yeah, because they want this to be successful. 
They want to be successful. When they come at you and say, hey, I want a new beginning. <laughs> they almost want you to be like, kick rocks. Because you already see that they're worried about you rejecting them. All right? I saw this before in another um, reading. Like somebody was kind of like trying to build up their courage to like come towards you. All right. Knight of Swords in the immediate future. Whatever this uh, communication is with this Knight of Swords, it's coming in quick. Okay? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Pisces for the rest of April? And you might not even expect it. You know what I mean? We do, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Four Swords. Okay? This person has been thinking a lot about it. All right? They've been healing. They've been, you know, giving you your space. You've been giving them theirs. Okay? But this space has been driving them crazy. All right? Um, they don't want space from you. Right? They're trying to figure out how can I make this better. Right? Trying to communicate with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles and Temperance and the Hierophant. Okay? You could have been married to this person and found out about a third party. But this is almost like someone has um, either has had like trials and tribulations in money. Um, maybe trying to hold up a family. Um maybe have experienced long-term commitment before okay and so they had to you know get over that heal from that with the temperance energy in order to be able to like come towards you okay knight of swords why is the knight of swords here but this is communication that's coming in yeah they're gonna tell you <laughs> communicate didn't i just say that <laughs> this communication that's coming in they have clarity now they're gonna tell you like everything they're gonna give you truth Okay, yeah, they're single now. They've made a decision. Okay, so why is the King of Swords here as your advice? Why is this your advice? Why is the King of Swords here as advice, Spirit? King of Swords, Page of Swords in the chariot okay get more information before you make a decision because the king of swords makes clear decisions okay he doesn't make a decision and go back and say oh no i want to change my decision okay but the page of swords make sure you get all the information make this person tell you all the truth before you move forward okay because there are other people involved with the five of wands okay Maybe this person is going to tell you some information about how they couldn't move forward because other people were involved because of conflict. Mm -hmm. Yep. With the five of swords, there's someone feeling defeated. Okay. Feeling defeated mentally. Emotionally, physically, okay, with the seven of wands, feeling like they have to protect their heart, okay, feeling defensive, feeling like feeling like they have to protect themselves from folk, okay. This person's gonna tell you all of that, okay. Understand that this communication that's coming to you is a, is truthful, okay. King of Swords for Pisces. You're gonna learn a lot of information. Okay, even more so with the Page of Swords energy. Yep, Knight of Cups. All right, and a Page of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. This person's re this person's ready for change. They're ready to move to the next level. Okay, they want things to be different. Okay, they're ready to take this connection to the next level. Okay, so they're definitely coming to you with an Ace of Pentacles. They're giving you their heart, literally out their chest, like. Psh. I'm telling you everything, all of my emotions, how I feel, all of the conflict, everything that happened, da, da, da. Okay, no more hiding things, no more deception. Let's give you some advice. Well, guidance, guidance, because we just got that. All right, let's give you some guidance. From my Sacred Travelers deck, okay. For Pisces Spirit, thank you so much for these messages for the rest of April for Pisces. What message do you have for Pisces? What guidance? 
for the rest of April with guidance. Guidance. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Valiant Courage, okay? It says, take action with passion. Bottom of the deck, narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully, okay? Meaning, think first, okay? All right, before you make a decision, get all the information. Valiant Courage, I do not have my glasses, so I'm going to do my best. Take action with passion. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Gather your inner resources and go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. Throw your shoulders back and move forward fearlessly. Take risk. It's okay to feel afraid. Just don't let it stop you. Don't play safe. Opportunities will pass you by otherwise. Speak up for yourself. Honest, no, honor your truth. You are a light bearer for others. <laughs> okay, I need to get back to this. Through your example, people find and act on their truth with courage and grace. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, that's what I have for you, Shig. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Get all the truth. I miss you guys already. <laughs> Bye.